It's a museum in Benzie County that usually has a lot going on, but last year they had to shut down. For this week's Northern Michigan in Focus, Corey Atkins shows us that this year they are very ready to open. Last year was really challenging because we've been a historical museum. This is our 52nd year now, and it was our first time that we weren't open. So we're particularly excited this year about reopening to the public. And the Benzie Area Historical Society has a lot going on this year, and they're working hard at it. Starting with an exhibit they were supposed to have last year, but couldn't due to COVID. And we're talking about the 19th Amendment. 2020 was the celebration of the 19th Amendment, earning women the right to vote. Because we were closed last summer, we are continuing this anniversary this year. And the way we are doing that is the Benzie Area Women's History Project in the 1980s produced several quilts honoring women. And so these quilts are available for people to come and look at and they are just works of art because each individual square was done by a different person. And then check out this new exhibit. We have always stressed the importance of the Ann Arbor Car Ferries, the first Cross Lake Car Ferry in the world. And we have this new wonderful map on the wall that shows the entire line of the railroad with all the little towns that it stopped at and of course, ending in Frankfurt Harbor. And another fun new exhibit for all you folks that like to look at old property lines. We have taken apart a 1915 plat map of the county, so you can get up close and personal to where your great grandparents lived and try to figure out where the railroads were and the roads. It, it's great. And believe it or not, one of their most popular outdoor activities is back. It's like they may have been a child. Um, oh no, no, here's a seven. It's 74 years old. Yes, we'll be doing cemetery cleanings again. There's so much more going on at the Benzie Area Historical Society that if you love history, you won't be disappointed. And so we are just really happy that we're gonna be open this summer and welcome visitors back. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.